Hi, I'm Nigel Plunkett. I'm the uh, head of Neighborhood Watch. I've been doing it now for close to 38 years, uh, ever since uh, Dolores uh, loved my life. Rest in peace, Dolores. She, uh, she signed me up to Neighborhood Watch, and uh, she never said she was happy with me. Found her in a bathtub of her own blood, slit her wrists in the throat. Yeah, my name's Skull. I joined the Neighborhood Watch a couple of years ago because I decided that the neighborhood just weren't violent enough. Well, the law just don't do the same things it used to do to me back in the dark ages. They used to cut people's hands off for stealing shit. Nowadays, they give them a slap on the wrist and send them on their way, but not anymore. Not with good old-fashioned vigilante-style Neighborhood Watch. Yep, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to give up all these punk kids who think they can spray paint walls and steal apples. Here to show them the error of their ways. All the neighborhood watches, we go around town and we, we make sure that in our neighborhood, in our specific street, uh, we make sure that uh, nothing uh, goes on. And uh, Dolores, back in her day, she knew. She knew stuff was going on, and I masturbated in the tool shed. She gained a lot of weight, so I, uh, I resorted to doing that sort of thing, and, uh, one day she walked in while I was, uh, holding my sausage with a, uh, piece of sandpaper, and, uh, one thing led to another, and so I started sleeping out in the tool shed. We've had a call from uh, Mrs. Smith. She's uh, the cat stuck up the power pole again. Kids have really got to stop tying it to their shoes and throwing it up there. Me and uh, Scully here. Yeah, we're Mulder and Scully. <laughs> okay. Seems like a bit of a waste of our valuable time, but hey, it's what we're here to do. Protect the peace. Possum in that tree. No, <laughs> you're gonna oh, get no. Oh, that, hang on, it was just a child. You get, yep. We normally deal with situations like this: uh, cat stuck in tree, uh, man in tool shed. Well, I didn't deal with that, uh, but um, that was me actually. Uh, Both ways before crossing the road. Ah! That's the crossing guard. Set an example. Usually in this situations, we like to uh, try to get the assailant, uh, otherwise known as the cat, down the uh, power pole uh, the easy way. We'll normally try to shake the power pole with some rubber gloves so as to not be electrocuted. Um, and uh, we'll see how we go from there. So, uh, Skull, you brought the uh, gloves, didn't you? You don't need gloves. All yeah, we. All you need is bedding. Really have to get that license. Don't shoot. No. Oh, oh, oh God. No. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's that's great, Skull. Bits of the cat are coming down. We want the whole cat. Oh, uh, well, I'll just hit the other one. The other Yo, no, don't. I'm not a cat person myself. So if the situation calls for it, uh, old old Betty here might just have to sing. Find a lullaby. But yeah. See what we can do. No, cut, no. <laughs> no, see, you're gonna, you're gonna put off the West Side District. You don't wanna do that sort of thing. You just wanna cut that out. What's that? Look, you do live on. We, there's not even a cat up there anymore. I'm an angry person. Why don't you just step back, okay? Okay. Betty. Sorry. Betty, my baby. Just feeling the first day. All this action, I've got an erection.